I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, yo, to me, let, let me actually go live everywhere. What y'all think about the album? I know y'all instantly talking about sales. I thought it was a good project. I thought this was a uh, complete body of work uh, in a time where I think we're in a singles focused economy. If you're going to drop an album, you better be telling a story with an album, have some cohesive tracks or have an overall theme. The theme of him trying to tell his American story, um, you know, I think maybe, if, you know, just because I ain't trying to be a dick rider, because I know some people like, ah, you dick riding crazy. Uh, I, the only thing I'd probably say is, you know, maybe a little bit of, I, I wanted a little bit more of the story of growing up in the UK, you know what I mean? Because that's still kind of a dark period that we don't really know too much about. Obviously, we know the overall thing. He was a young kid, moved over here. And um, basically grew up and lived in Atlanta. But, you know, I I'm wondering, you know, I remember coming here as a young kid. I let me, let me go live. What the fuck? I had, like, culture shock. I was like, what the hell? Well, I came over here like 10. I had, like, culture shock. I was like, what the hell is going on over here? So, you know, I, I kind of maybe wanted that a little bit. But I think he was much younger. So who knows really what his experience was before he got to Atlanta, right? Anyway, uh, my man 21 yeah. Savage came through. Yeah. Uh, American Dream, the what album. What did you learn about his American? What did you learn about his American Dream, Matt? Do that. Do them fifteen songs. What did you learn about his American Dream? Well, I think that I, I think that's where maybe either you or I was expecting maybe too much, because what I did learn is just what. What do you mean? Like again. I'm expecting to hear the story. What you mean too much? Yeah, no, no, no. no. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We got to remember this nigga moved over here like five. Okay? An American dream story normally is, is, yo, I have a tough life in another country. Okay. I I was dreaming of having a better life and making it out or going there. Having opportunities. Like, that's my American dream story, right? Like, I thought the USA was like fucking bed of roses. Because I grew up in the countryside running around with my barefoot, right? Okay. And it's that journey to get here. And even when we get okay. here, the struggle and the life of being here trying to chase that American dream. For me, it might be very different than 21 Savage, who is like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't really have much memories of being in the UK. So I think the title is more of a, it's more of Yo, him. Hey. Say again? Act, bro. Act, be, bro. Like, act. I what? fuck with 21 Savage, bro. Act, let's be real. All right? Act, let's be real. Just listen to me. You got a movie coming out, right? In the movie, you were 16 through 18. You said, oh, I was uh, I was in the field. They treated us like savages. I was, I, I didn't have a name. All I had was number 21. Oh, I'm going to call bro, you Bro, that was, yo, that's like a parody. That's not a real movie. Nigga, no. This is the what you to put it out to promote your album, bro. Act, be honest, bro. Like, act. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay. You, okay. But it's still it's promo, but whatever. It's, okay, so make the point. Okay, my point is, what did you learn about? Okay, your American dream is the same as any nigga. It ain't even an American dream. It's a it's a fucking any nigga dream. Because all you talked about in this album was I'm gonna spin a nigga block. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. She's sucking my dick. You didn't tell me anything about your story. You you know college dropout. That was a, a story. We heard about his dreams as being fucking a rapper, being a college dropout. Fucking oh. American dream. All we all we know all we know about this nigga was I'm gonna fuck your bitch. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna. Sp- your block. I'm gonna fucking murder your family. And yeah, nigga, what, what did we learn about his American dream? That's the same dream as any. That's the American that's dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but here, hey, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Same dream as any nigga in here. Yeah, well, listen, he's he's describing his American dream while coming through the streets. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> Bro, uh, no, yo, yo, I feel like, yo, yo. Sometimes Boom is like overly critical. I'm gonna tell you why, because that's what I was when I got um Drake's album. Like I, in my mind, I created Drake album before Drake dropped the album. I saw the title, I heard some things, and I said, "This is what the the album is good has to be. It's for all the dogs." 
It's for me. It's if you're reading this is too late part two. What you thought about when you heard American Dream? American Dream act. What did you think about when you when you listen to this album? What you think you was gonna hear? Okay. American Dream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not marrying that thought. You're right. I thought a little bit more of yo, this is what my mom was going through. This is the struggle that we went through, and now I've made it. I'm living the American dream. I'm the immigrant came to America, the place that is really built up immigrants, okay. and okay, I have so, made it. I'm going to tell okay, you so how I did act, it, you're, right? Act, your American dream is spinning the block, killing ops, and fucking on niggas' bitches. That's you not know, all that's on the album, brother. Than, you know I am greater than I was told a, a bigger story than this album, right? I am. Yo, 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 yo. This is where I, 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 like, yo, listen, you had this opinion before you listen to the whole thing. Listen to. No, I didn't. Yo, listen to Letter to My Brother. You literally hear him talk about, like, again, we also have to keep in mind this is 21 Savage, not Aubrey, Drizzy, motherfucking Drake Graham. Oh, we can't say that. We got to say that because. We, hold on. We got to say lot. that because. Act, he made a lot, bro. Act, he made a lot, bro. He made the no, song a yeah, lot. That's a great song conceptually, but he's not the lyricist where you should be like, yo, Drake, drop a Do Not Disturb or like a Tuscan Leather that's accurately and de vividly depicting everything over goddamn beats. I think that even, yo, he literally, like, He's talking about, in his own way, how he's been coming, like, at least growing up in this society, trying to make it. But also, he talks about, I think he gives a fair and balanced, like, even on the letter to my brother, right? Um, verse 2. He basically talks about, yo, listen, you come, and this is, by the way, in pursuit of the American dream. You're coming up in the street, you finally make it, and it's a catch-22. If, look, he said, I'm being honest, hard work, trying to keep the past behind me, still having flashback, blah, blah. Uh, I think he was just like, yo, oh, he said, I put my blood, sweat, and tears inside this win. If I take care of my hood, the prosecutor called me God. If I turn my back on the hood, they probably kill me. They probably rob me. Like, I understand what the title suggests, and I'm not, I'm not denying that. But because you didn't get that, are you saying that the album is mid? I got that, bro. Bro, I got everything he's trying to tell me. But it's not, it's not saying too much. Bro, for the American dream, as a nigga, it's a lot of immigrants out here that just basically. Got Are you saying that conceptually that he didn't? Shit. It feel like you're saying that conceptually he didn't execute no, the way. Time, okay, okay. Time telling me how you gonna kill a nigga and you ain't gonna snitch more than talking about the American dream, bro. D okay, do you think he executed on um I am greater than I was? That yes, hundred percent, a hundred and fifty thousand percent, bro, a hundred and fifty thousand percent. Like, if you think this album is even as close as I'm greater than, which is the last solo album, I'm greater than I was. Do you think that? Do you think this album is even close to I'm greater than I was? Listen, man, all I know is any nigga who starts out his album saying, see my shooter's a, pes a pescatarian, okay. but he okay. eat up all so the act. beef. Like, come okay, on! So okay, his, yo, his shooter's a pescatarian! Okay, okay, okay act. give me a Bro, you. Have you ever had a act, pescatarian act, shooter? Act, no, hold on, no. Holy, holy. Hold on. Have you ever had a pescatarian shooter, bro? Bro, I've heard Uzi say that already, bro. Uzi's a pescatarian. I've heard him say that. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is you ever had a shooter who got like a specific diet? He's a pescatarian. It's like having a Whoa, vegan killer. Act, see, it's act, like having a vegan stupid. killer. Nah, yeah, his shooters act, take care act, of himself. Yo, think act, about act, it. A, a vegan act, killer's like an oxymoron. He don't want to kill the animals to eat it, but he'll kill a nigga. Mind blown. Act, Come on. Act, already. Act, give, me a, act, give me a song that's like a lot. Give me a song that's like a lot on this album. I, th I I think Letter to My Brother is just as deep. Pause. It's, okay, it's, okay. But you're wild as fuck. Okay, what? Give me a song that's that, like that's give an me a song introspective song. song. What are you talking about? Okay, now, act, give me a song that's like Ball Without You. Act, give me a song that's like Ball Without You on this album. Oh, he has a lot of songs that he's aiming at women on this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, go tell me. Tell me one. Uh, I think the song with him uh, him and Brent Fires is, is fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna compare it to ball ball without me type you shit. You have to compare. Yo, Ag, you are only as good as your latest work, right? So I have to compare him from his last. No, album, yeah, right? but I'm not gonna compare one song to one song. Like, is, is, next thing you're gonna tell me is like, songs, next right? thing you're gonna tell me like, yo, which song on here is like bank account? Like, come on, bro, like we can't do that. No, nah, that's this, that's that's wild because he talking about street shit. Bank account. That album's called fucking. What the album's called? Like, what was the album called again? Like that album was it's just a, straight it's, it's gangster a, music. It's, it's a. Yeah, like nigga, that shit's just straight gangster music. This shit called American Dream, bro. That's like college dropout being straight twerk songs, bro. 
You know what I mean? I'm going to judge the title of your album based on the message that you're going to give me. It's called American Dream. Man. Come on, man. I am greater than I was made the message of I am greater than what I was. The street shit, I'm greater than that. I'm greater than what I was. I'm talking about real shit that I'm going through in my life outside of just being a gangbanger. You know what I mean? American Yo. Dream is like me coming from poverty, yeah. bro. Going yeah. to the slums. What my mom Yo, What I'm 21 going Savage is talking about the American Gangster Dream, man. Yeah. Gangster. Why you didn't call it American Gangster Dream? Wait, I mean, I mean, dream? it's it's a post like he's not a square. So like you, you, his name is Twenty One Savage. He came out making all his tough music. We find out he's from London. He was down act, with the Brubs. Come on, act. You seen the video? Twenty One Savage, man. He was number twenty one in the ICE community, and they treated him like a savage. That's how you got the name Twenty One Savage. Bro, stop. Yo, that's a joke. Yeah, bro, that's, <laughs> that's, bro, that's what they said. Bro, that's, that's a you, yo. Bro, as a act. Act, yo, you that's a that's parody. Savage, homie. Act, this, this thing is a 21 Savage fan. Yo, that's, this, this the only yo, that's a parody, Savage. bro. That's a parody. Bro, no, it's not. Bro, act, you, bro, act, you glazing, bro. Because, nigga, if I'm a 21 Savage fan, I'm thinking of what I'm seeing. You hey, know hey, 21 hey, Savage. So you hey, know by the way, damn near, damn near savage. yo, yo, Wenge. Uh, Wenge says, uh, <laughs> a crazy name. He says, uh, Metro telling 21 not to put Drake on his album is crazy. I, I don't think that's that's 21's uh, um, Metro call at all. Whose call I think this is, is probably Savage. I think Savage wanted to challenge himself. Like, I think he sees every time people like Boom be acting like he's, like, riding Drake's coattails. And I his... Said, I'm pretty sure he got some... He probably got some Drake tracks for... I know he got Drake tracks. I never said that. Act, why you going... Not 21 hear this and don't think I hate him, bro. I don't no, 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 no. But, 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 but... Okay, I'm using you as a placeholder, but in reality, a lot of people have said that he is the feature guy or he's the guy who is mentioned in certain conversations because he did an album with Drake. So, af true. so after you've gotten that for a good year and a half, you now want to come out and sometimes, you know, I think he's going to sell well with or without it. I think he just said, no, nah, I ain't going to have... A, a song with me and Drake on, on my album because that might overshadow the other music that's on there, which I think it could have. Do you think? Do you think you're gonna sell more than Uzi? Do you think you're gonna sell more than Uzi? How much did Uzi do? Like one sixty eight or one sixty five? Yeah, I think I think he's doing two hundred. You think he's doing two hundred? Yeah, I I, I I I would lock on one seventy five though. But you um, lock on it. Act, you want lock on it? Okay, are we doing over or under? I say over one seventy five. One seventy five. I do under one seventy five for fifty about fifty dollars. You say under one seventy five. Under one seventy five for fifty dollars. I got over. All right, we'll do that. All right, bet. All right, lock. lock. I'll do that. Lock. Uh, All right, bet. I think also he's going to be benefited from the fact that it doesn't drop frequently. People been anticipating this a long time, and um, I think he knows how to roll out an album. Does he? You don't think he does? What he act? He just released the album within three days of his release. Well, you, a rollout. All right. Well, well, you have to realize he kind of did the same with. Uh, didn't he do the same with "I Am Greater Than I Was"? I, I know. I know a lot might have been out before. No, act, listen. Act, just listen. Just listen to the content of "I Am Greater Than I Was" and listen to the content of this album. You think people are gonna come back and listen to a song more than one time versus "I Am Greater Than I Was"? We just listened to this for the first time like an hour ago. What do you, like? What do you mean? Okay, I'm just after first impressions. Yes, after I heard a lot for the first time, I knew I was going to listen to it more than fifteen times. I knew I'm I actually was. waiting to go listen back after the stream, bro. Like, 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 yo, I, yo, I can't bro. wait to go listen to the, the joint with 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 C Note because now, like, again, I know he's not the most lyrical nigga, but like, shit, he got like like joints aimed at. I know he, he, I felt he was he was subbing on Gunna a little bit, but not only Gunna, I think he was subbing a couple other them Atlanta niggas because we all know Atlanta now is the home of the rats. So like he was just like yo, uh, I think he said he would never do a song with a rat or something like that. Let me see. All right, this is the uh, this is a song Red Sky right here that C Note produced. It's fourth and inches. I'm sending a blitz. Live on the toilet. I stay on my shit. You say we ops, what? but you stay on my bro, dick. Bro. My shooter a rapper. I set him a hit. They be on Twitter like when he gonna miss. Say I fell off, but I fell in this bitch. Fuck your white flag. I ain't telling them shit. I played cool and had Brody to blick. Blick out your stew just to show you I'm rich. Now you can't drop no more music because shit. How you jump right on that song then, snitch. 
Oh, nah, he went crazy. Right. Stop playing with my boy, dog. Like, are you serious? Bro? Stop playing with my like, boy. Are you serious, bro? Nigga, you sassy and wrong as a bitch. Say the wrong thing. Not going to lie, by the way, his rapping has is, is, is improved. Let's be honest, right? Okay, his rapping has improved. But how many, how many times have you used the same phone as that? This album? is a warning. Like, cause, this is a warning because Savage don't diss. Better thank me that your ass still exists because Jesus can't save you from what's in the stick. Holy crap. Nah, come on, bro. Bro, he had a poop bar on this phone. You lucky I don't find a song. Chat, tell me the song. Bro, yeah, everybody gonna bar. have like a little a, a, a bar that it's like, yeah. eh, come on, bro. Bro, Nigga, said, bro. What I'm reading right now he is said, fire. She don't look good without makeup. I'm stiff. Don't fuck with rappers because most of them snitch. Oh, Chat, man. Chat, I told he you. Said, Yo, this is him calling out Ratlanta. Act, what's the, bro, Chat, tell me the song. He say poop on that bitch. You lucky I don't want to read these lyrics. If once a nigga tell me this song, I'm, I'm a cookie. Diamonds going to cover my neck and my fist. Watch on my leg because I ran out of wrist. Draco, bro. Like, ah, this thing is going crazy. Nah, Yo. nah. I ain't going to lie. Hold on. By the way, it looked like he actually wrote something. Like, this song looked like he actually wrote. Like, I've been in the studio, like, uh, years ago when we did that shit. And it was more of him just punching in. You can tell he's just coming up off the top of the head. You know, everybody just yeah. punching, don't write. Like this shit look like his rapping got a little bit better, okay, bro. Okay, okay, act, 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 act. Listen, act, listen. Brand new cool. Skirt, skirt, ain't no roof. Dipping on red, but my dime is blue. What you smoking? Uncle Stu. It smell like gas. I think somebody pooped. That's what you that's what you bumping in the whip. Act. Now, if it smell like gas, you thought you thought somebody come on, oh, man. That's oh, oh, oh. double entendre. You ain't you ain't get it? Oh, no. That's a fire ass lie. No, all right, bro. All right, all right, all right, bro. It smell like gas. I think somebody pooped. That's what you bumping in the whip. And your already bro, it's a triple entendre. By the way, is the beat knocking? Cause I ain't gonna lie. Okay, he had, he no, got right, a few beats on here okay. that is knocking. You gotta play it in the car. You gotta do the whip you test. Gotta, you gotta do the whip test with this one. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yo, C note. If you ever see this, bro, I don't know. Like, no dick cry. I don't even know you, but listen, I don't know like five other producers that every time I hear they beat, I. I know I'm gonna play this song consistently in the whip. This shit knocks. Act, it smell like gas. Somebody pooped. Nigga, triple entendre. Don't even ask me how. <laughs> okay, okay. So when 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 I Spice say I'm the shit, I'm the pooper. You gotta give her that bar, right? That shit was fire you too. That shit was fire. No, you was cooking her for that bar. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I, I like that, that bitch. I miss poopy. Yo, I you still play. Y'all play that song in my intro. Back, bro, bro. Yo, then yeah, she I said that shit had her feeling loopy. Shit. I was like, oh shit. I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah. I can't like I get away with this shit, bro. Bro, could you stop, bro? Like, bro, what's up with you? Bro. Hey, speaking I'm of what, speaking of she shaking like jelly. Damn. Hey. I'm in days she nutty, but I'm still shaking ass in a deli. Nah. Yo, act, stop. Bro. Yo, nah. I'm yo, I'm telling you that I yo, I'm gonna lie to you. I was in the car with some people, bro. And I put on, I put on Ice Spice. I kid you not. Like, you know when you got the ox? I'm playing, playing, playing. I put on Ice Spice. I swear. Everybody just looked at me like this. But I ain't gonna lie. I, I bumped that Ice Spice thing. I don't care what y'all niggas say. Oh, speaking of which, I heard Ice Spice new single snippet. You think you the uh, shit, you the bitch? I'm not, not even, you even you the yeah. fart. Yo, 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 chat, yo, chat. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna rate Ice Spice new single. Then we're gonna get right back to Savage. <laughs> Oh man, man, y'all be playing with Ice Spizzle, man. That's Ice Spizzle. Like she, I'm gonna be honest with you, Ice Spice could say a whack bar, but it's gonna sound hot just off of how confident she be delivering it. That's crazy. That's the thing too. You could deliver a mid bar confidently, and it's fire. Y'all hear this shit, bro? Stop it, bro. Like you know this is true. Like this is not even dick riding. It's you could. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This fire. Here, well, I, I ain't gonna say fire. Chat. What do we think about this? <laughs> and especially when she twerks with it too. <laughs> you want me to say something so bad? Stop playing with him, Ryan. Can you please? Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fuck. I be going hard. Oh shit! I be <laughs> hearts like. Yo, yo it's a classic already. Yo, she did it better than yo, the 40 You know what's so crazy? As soon as she said, bitch, you think you the shit, you not even a fart, 
Nigga, it's like I got a whiff of twerk wind from when she performs this on stage. This shit's gonna be fire. <laughs> nigga, you know where she gonna twerk at. Bitch, you think you the shit, then she gonna do the same little move and put her ass in the air and twerk fire. <laughs> nigga, 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 propane, nigga. <laughs> Check that nigga, this nigga, nigga, this nigga's trolling. Nah, listen. This is be quick, but I'm quicker. This is be thick, but I'm thicker. Woo! Yo, Ice Spice got some of the legendary. Bar Yo, uh, listen. I'm gonna do a rhyme book for Ice Spice. She's legendary. You know one of the best Ice Spice lyrics? She says. She says. So she said like, she thick cause she be eating oats. That's hard. That's that's better than you not even a fart, bro. Come on. Bro, yo, listen. Oh, that shit was on. Oh, it says, uh, like, God, keep it a stack. I Bitches ain't taking shit from me, but notes. Yeah, Take come on. Notes. Notes. Look at this. Yeah, I'm telling you. Bro, you got to, yo, yo, boom. You got to open your musical mind up. Like, put I it like this. Like, here's the thing. Here's that. the thing. Sometimes, like, put it like this. It's yo. It's like when imagine what Kanye was on when he was in the studio and said, "Let me rap about bleached assholes." Like, bro, he was confident. Nigga probably that's had his hard, shirt bro. open with his chest hair that's showing. That's hard, act, bro. That's hard. He said, "If I just fuck this model, if she just bleached her asshole, and I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'm gonna feel like an asshole." Like, hard. It's way different than you think. Nigga, Ice football. Spice could have chefed up something way more classier, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ice you Spice would have hit that with the grat, like, you Act know what I mean? Like, come on. Yo. Act, but she didn't, though. Hey, she hey. didn't, though. You know what made, you know made the snippet even more fire? I'm gonna tell you what. Right here. Yeah. The fuck I'm gonna say in the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you can tell she does one takes and shit. This is perfect. She do not even tell the engineer to delete nothing. She'll just be like, all right, let's put that out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you make it fire. Can you please? Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fart. <laughs> that ad lib. Woo! A wet one, man. Yo, like, 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 get a nice little ad lib that it almost sounds like sharting. Like, come on, bro. Bro. Holy. Act, bro, you eat, bro. I'm not even gonna entertain this. You obviously trolling, bro. What? I know you trolling me, bro. Like, but it's cool. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let it slide because you a troll, nigga. Stop it, bro. Like, stop it, bro. So you tell me a was nice a ad lib with like a wet one, nigga. That's what the ad lib was a wet fart, nigga. Like, are you kidding me? Yo, act, bro. Bro, y'all niggas trolling. Nah, this I be me. going hard. Nah, I'm breaking their hearts. Like, 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 bitches be quick, but I'm quicker. Bitches be quick, but she's quicker. Yo, 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 I spice got the whole New York on her back. I don't know what y'all talking about. The whole New York on her back. Yes, yo, yo, listen. This is the information I just found out. The reason, other than shout out to the forty one dudes, listen. The reason why Ice Spice got the whole drill seat on her back is because every other New York drill rapper, all the males, were lined up to go smash a, a Asian doll in the train. Apparently, all of the drill things ran a train on her. She the only oh, one. Yeah. Ice Spice the only one that was holding it down in the booth this year. This is be thick, but I'm thicker. Nah, this is going to be fire. I can't wait till it drops. Ag, would you buy a bottle of her Queef win, bro? By the way, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ice Spice has probably the, like, from snippet to song, like, you know, who has the best snippets than the song be mid? Like, who's that? Who's that person? Like, the snippets Cardi. is fire. Then you hear the song, you're like, Cardi. man, this it? That's Cap. That's Cardi or Cardi. Chief Keef. Cardi or Chief Keef. Cardi or definitely. Cardi or Chief Keef, for sure. 100%. Cardi or Chief Keef. Cardi, Chief Keef, or Uzi. It's them three. Well, Ice Spice has the reverse. You be listening to the snippet and it's a hype. Then you listen to the song. Bitch, I'm the shit like Miss nah. Poopy. And you're like, oh man, man this you, is too far. Stop it, bro. You ever heard Kobe Rowley, nigga? You ever heard that snippet, nigga? You wasn't alive, you, bro. You wasn't even there, bro. You wasn't even there. You had to be there type shit, bro. So you never heard Kobe Rowley. Before it was called Kobe Bean, it was called Kobe Rowley, nigga. Like, you I, wasn't I, there, I, I never heard the, I never heard the snippet, but I've heard the song, obviously. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You ain't hear the snippet where niggas couldn't even imagine what the song would sound like, nigga. That's the difference, nigga. I'm the shit. I'm not even a fart. Imagine she keeps saying that, nigga. We'll stone that nigga to death, nigga. We'll stone that nigga in O Block, nigga, and hang that nigga on a crucifix on the fucking O Block trenches, nigga, in front of Parkway Gardens, nigga. If nigga, if he would have said that shit on a fucking little Uzi song, bro. Like, come on, bro. Stop. Mm. It. Yo, I, stop it, bro. That Twenty One Savage album was not. It was. It was disappointing, bro. I fuck with Twenty One Savage, but compared to his last album, it's not even close, bro. Do you think this album was better than his last album? I can't call it. Like an hour bro. after, bro. It's so an hour Ak, after, my nigga. Shit. Ak, you be on some label shit, bro. I hate, bro. Back then, you used to give me an answer in an hour, bro. You on some label shit, bro. Yo, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like a few songs off of, uh, off of it, but bro, like, okay, if if you want me to pick, I would say I like the last album better. But like, who knows if this is gonna grow on me? Like, pause, bro. This nigga, bro. You on some act, bro, man. You on some label shit. No, no, bro. no, yo, yo, boom. I, I, you're I, trying you, to say this what? shit is just mid. Like I get if you're saying it's like by the way mid. his it's last hold on his last album is probably a classic. So this out al- even if this album isn't as good, bro, you even saying that um y- you it's saying mid. it's not no no it doesn't mean it's mid it could still be good. It's mid, bro. If his last album was a classic, you think this shit gonna be good compared to his last album? That's like me. Comp- that's like college. That's like graduation being just eh. Also, just being the greatest, one of the greatest albums of all time, nigga. No, it would have been mid compared to his last two albums, nigga. No, compared to I Am Greater Than I Was, bro, it's mid, bro. It's not, not even like close. It's Man. mid. All I know is bro. that I, that sexy red folly poster of Baby Daddy, man. Let's see, you see how you switched the goalposts, bro? This shit's sad, bro. Oh, she deleted right, the man. picture. Of course she did, man. Yo, she posted that nigga yeah. and blurred out his face. <laughs> Yo, that's ill. Yo, this shit, this shit crazy, bro. And you still don't like um Fat D, right? Pause. You said what? You still don't like Fat D, right? You still did that album mid, right? I don't know. I de- I definitely like that album. Um. So can you admit like what I was saying wasn't wrong? When I told you it was a good album, and you looked at me like I was crazy. Nah, I agree. I agree. A, a lot when of those I songs grew on me. When I told you that the song was about, but yeah, yeah. but but the way I reacted to that song, you know, that, that album made me start to have a different perspective on how I react initially to albums. That's why I'm not. That's why even with no, this that's album, that's not true. That's not true. No, no. Because when Cob when Cob came out, you said I can't react it on the first listen. I gotta wait. I gotta wait a couple days. You said that. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. No, but but that's a different type of uh, conversation. I went into that Drake album, and when I first heard it, I was mad. Because I'm like, nigga, nigga, in my mind, you know you know when you listen to, if you're reading it's too late, 10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands, fuck it, man. Bro, I'm already got, I got the songs in my mind. Like, we going to be, like, we, we we vibing on this shit. And then when I heard a lot of the singing, I'm like, is this for women? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't even want to hear it, my nigga. That was just like, it was too much singing, too much moisture. You know, for all the dogs, it's for dog-ass women, not dog-ass Okay, ass well, women, right? well, that's what I figured out supposedly afterwards because I thought this was for niggas. So once well, I... Dog-ass women. Women you know, so for me, I had to kill my expectation. That happens with us fans sometimes. We f- we forget that the artist is the artist. Like, Savage is the artist, right? So if we were going to create American Dream... We would have done it like this. But, nigga, you're not the artist. You're the fucking fan. Listen to the songs. Did you like it or not? And it's entitlement that we get because now we start comparing it to this thing. Well, you well you executed here. Like, maybe his vision of what his American dream was, his story. He told you his story. You just don't like the story. Just spinning the block 20 times on 15 songs? Spinning yes. Spinning the block he, and fucking a nigga bitch. Nigga, he was like, robbing like, people for mad long. <laughs> All you told me were 15 songs of you spinning the block and fucking a nigga's bitch. That's all you told me. You probably fucked a lot of niggas' bitches and spun the block a lot. Uh, okay, but okay, but I am greater than I was. He told me niggas was innocent, but they couldn't get lawyers, bro. This is some real shit that niggas that ain't gangsters will understand. Yo, you telling me on this song, the most you could tell me was I fucked your bitch and I'm spinning your block. Yo, but I literally you- have pointed out other things that he's 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 done, and you literally like. You're refusing hey, to believe bro, there's. I told you. I told you a letter to my brother, right? One song. That's one song. One out of fifteen. Um, one song. Okay. See the real. One song. 
What is that about? I don't know. I'm just looking at the lyrics. And the chorus is the chorus is my dog don't want nothing out of life but to kill niggas and they wonder why I'm still with them. All these M's in the bank account I don't feel richer. I'ma step up in that way since a little nigga another body drop. I don't feel different. Took some L's but I'm still winning. You knew she was a thought. Why you still with her? Okay, that definitely told me about the American Dream. I knew she was a thought while I'm still with her. Yeah, that's definitely the American Dream for sure. Yeah, mm hmm, one hundred percent. Walk him down till I'm tired. Holy. Yeah, yeah, yo, that's the American dream. give an opera tired. first class ticket to the sky, yo. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Back. that's the American dream. Yo. everybody dream of that. Nigga, that's his American dream. Why your American dream got to be <laughs> his American dream? Because American dream is not just what twenty one, bro. American dream has been a thing since before twenty one Savage made an album. American dream. So if you make an album, that's bro. like me making an album called "I Believe I Can Fly," and it's about me playing hockey. Nigga, believe I can fly is basically about me fucking touching the sky and chasing my. No, dream. no, no, no. And if all I'm doing all is playing right, no, no. hockey is fighting. American dream, ass, yo, he? American dream. L let me tell you what American dream means to me. American dream means making it from the bottom, wherever the bottom is for you, from the bottom and getting somehow to the top. If you think, if you think making it to the top is just, I don't know, like maybe you were from a broken family and now you you have a. a, a like you have a wife and you have kids and y'all all have one household and you have now a family that's together. Maybe that's your American dream. Most people think of it financially just because in most countries there is zero possibility from you to go from dead poor or dead poor that you have to do crime to make it to a level where you're now a millionaire. And you could you you became a millionaire by telling the stories about when you were dead poor doing bad shit. That is the American dream, right? Okay, like, so you, you I, come here I, for... When am I going to hear about your success story? When am I going to hear about that? I haven't heard about like, that. Like, like, what do you mean? When am I going to hear about... Okay, I don't understand you had to spin niggas' blocks. You had to fuck niggas' bitches. You had to kill niggas. You had niggas die. Where's the triumph in your American dream? All I'm hearing about is just you killing niggas and spinning niggas' blocks and fucking niggas' bitches. So where's the triumph in this American dream? I mean, he's a walking embodiment of, of the triumph. Okay, so talk about it. So, so tell me about it in your rap ability because you can rap. So tell me about it. You did it in the last album. Tell me in this album. Hey, this is where, by the way, Boom is making a point that, that, that might be a decent one for a debate, but it's a horrible point because he himself wouldn't want it. Like, it, it's just like when us fans will judge a rapper and be like, well, stop rapping about the violence. What about you rapping about other things? You know if a nigga rap about other shit, you ain't gonna listen to anything. That's not true. Act, no, that's like Lil Baby making a song called Yo, Black yo, Lives yo, Matter. pull that. Hold on, hold on. And all he's talking about is killing niggas. No, no, hold on. Yo, play this. It's like when, remember when remember when 21 back in the day said, yo, listen, man, all he's on is financial literacy, this and third. You think niggas wanted to hear this nigga rap about Bitcoin or nigga... Spin your block like there ain't no way to park, nigga. Like, that's okay, what people act, wanted to hear, man. Act, if the album was called Financial Literacy, I would expect to hear about that. <laughs> you call an album American Dream, I expect to hear about that. Bro, I just told you it was American Dream. Bro. Okay, where, I hear the triumphs of your dream, but where's the... I mean, I hear the struggles of your dream. Where's the triumphs of your dream? And where's also, that, and nigga, also, nigga, nigga, nigga. and also, here's the thing, too. This is as well of a soundtrack. That's another thing you're missing. This is a soundtrack. I think because the movie wasn't... Soundtrack? Bro, that's what it says. American Dream serves as the Atlanta native 21 Savage, highly anticipated third studio album, following I Am Greater Than I Was. It doubles as a soundtrack to, to his debut film, American Dream, the 21 Savage story. Am a soundtrack, bro? A soundtrack. Do you know what a soundtrack is, bro? A soundtrack has emotions. A soundtrack has different themes. Nigga, a soundtrack, a soundtrack has, is going to match bro. what's happening in a movie, nigga. And if clearly, your soundtrack, it, has, if your soundtrack is the same shit for the whole album, how is that a soundtrack? That's just one whoa. song repeated over and over and over again. Yo, the last half of the album is mostly about dealing with women. So Should have wore a bonnet, just so like a, me. So you you tell me your soundtrack is about more than women and about is your triumph. Through being an English nigga. Yo, 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 boom, do not want to give this. All right, hold on, boom. This is the end of the, this is the end of the album. This is how Savage starts it. I find, this song's called Dark Days with Mario Scientist. See, I don't think you listen to it yet, bro. He says, I, I find, did. listen, 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 I'm reading the lyrics. You're talking about his triumph or where, where, when does he talk about his success or 
the end of the road, he says, I finally got the fame and fortune I prayed for. Who would have thought I would emerge from all that gun smoke? This for all the teenagers that want a gun tote because they Hard. cheaper in the hood than in the gun store. You're going to lose a lot of friends. That's what hurt the most. You can't do nothing but reminisce about y'all cracking jokes. You feeling like nobody love you. I know how that go. You got to love yourself, little nigga. That's going to help you glow. I know that might sound lame, but stay in school. They got a place that they want to put people who won't follow the rules. You probably got your mama scared. Don't want. Yo, he gave the story and he given a caution. It's a cautionary tale, my nigga. He literally said, my story, my his story was robbing niggas. Fucking these bitches. Spinning blocks. That's his story. Then he's telling you, yo, he's gotten to the finish line and he's here to tell you like he wouldn't even tell you how to go down the same path. Bro, what more so you, you want from the nigga, bro? You tell me, what? So you tell me 14 songs is about the same shit he was living through in his last Nigga, song he was spinning a lot of blocks. Like, God damn. Like, what do you want from him, man? Yo, that's crazy. I understand your point, Act. You do make a good... Act, yo, yo, hold on. Yo, 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 all right, if boom, you tell boom. Me one song, if you tell me one song is about his whole triumph, that's crazy. Bro, bro, he sequencing the album like this. Bro, him growing up, bro, he's telling you about... And by the way, I'm going to go back to some of those songs, too. He's telling you about when he's been, when he's starting now getting to deal with females and learning about that. Bro, it's, it's his story. Like, nigga, it's like you want to write his story your way. Well, if you call it American Dream, call it Savage's Dream. Nigga, don't call it the American Dream. The fuck? You know what American Dream is? I mean, nigga? the name of the movie that it's supposed to the soundtrack for is American Dream 21 Savage Story. <laughs> No, it, it, the album is called American Dream. It yes, American but the, remember, Dream. it's it's serving it's as a double American for Dream. a soundtrack. And the thing said American. I could go to his damn profile. I could go to his damn profile right here. 21 Savage. You go to his profile where he announces the shit. What does uh, it say on Spotify? No, no, I, no I, I know that. I know that. Look, right here. American Dream. 21 Savage Story, even though I still think this shit is a parody with, with the Don Glover shit. Like, come on, bro. And then he said, oh, they treated this us like crazy. savages. My number, I didn't have a name. It was just 21. My, bro, that was no, a parody, though, bro. That part was a parody. Savage 21. That part like, was bro, a parody. I, like, I come, that shit in a parody. This shit real life. This shit coming in theaters. This shit gonna be a movie in theaters. No, I'm gonna no, watch no. it. Anyway. No, that, that part won't be part of it. Chill, bro. Like, nigga, Yo. This shit is part this shit. Yo, so yo, boom, boom, of, boom, boom, boom. I, I, I provided you, I provided you multiple, multiple songs where, yeah, of course he's going to have one. songs about bullshit, but like th there's a little bit of substance and depth to it. And he's also like trying to send a message and also giving his version of his story or wh what his life been about incarceration, seeing his friends die. Like that's been if you know I did a documentary on the nigga. I I, right. I remember being on that couch with that nigga in right. Atlanta, and that shit was right. tough for him that's to right. talk about. And he was that's talking right. about yo, he came up in a certain life, and he watched his friend, like his best friend, die right in front of him. Yeah, that's right. his story, that's my nigga. Facts. And he got shot in the face, right? He got shot in the face. That's where he got the scar on his lip, right? That's facts, right? I don't know about yeah, that. I think one. that's facts. Well, he got shot. That's where he got like a scar on his face. But act. Hey, I give you five hundred dollars. Tell me about him being in ICE. Tell me about the shit that's going through him being in Border Patrol on this album. Tell me about shit that. So that you want this thing to rap life. about immigration? What nigga? That's the American dream. You're you you were an immigrant and you got American citizenship. This is your American dream and you're a millionaire superstar. We want to hear about that. As if you call it American dream, we want to hear about that. We don't want to hear about you only talking about fucking bitches and slime on your ops, bro. Because you did it on your last album. We heard you talk about your real life on your last album. Why can't you do that on this album? So you want him to be more vulnerable? Yes, he was he vulnerable. Did it the last album. He, he did it the last. He's not as vulnerable as he was on the last album on this album, bro. And the album called the album is called American Dream, bro. We want to hear about what happened through your life, bro. Like that's bro, what, he's that's what telling you. But did he tell us about his real life? Bro, act, you tell yeah, me about he did, though, boy. Me. Nigga, this act, is his real about... life. He not telling about somebody else's life. It's okay. his life. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Act, you telling me about what he's telling to the kids and the youth and stay in school. What about your life? Don't tell me what, don't, I get that's your outro. That's a hard outro. But what about your life? What's going through in your life that we can relate to outside of you just be, like, tell us about what. Did you, you listen to Letter to My Brother? That's two songs. Y'all keep telling me the same two songs. It's 15 songs. 14 songs on this album. It's 14 songs on this album. It's 14. 
is cool. Sometimes you just got you one or two. two songs. You only telling me two songs. If I go tell you about it, if you're reading this, it's too late. I can't give you seven songs about Drake talking about his fucking life, the shit he was going through in his fucking life. Seven. Okay. I can name you seven songs. And all you can name me is two songs? Yo, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yo, yo, boom. Check the intro. This is his, this is his mom speaking. That's not, my, I'm not counting as a no, song. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, I know, I know. It says, my, my, my dreams have always gone beyond crossing upon us. The mother, every path I walked was for my son. Challenges were part of the journey. And I wanted, and, and what I wanted was an afterthought. The idea of providing him proper chances helped me to never stop moving forward. Forever confronted whatever transitions um, that needed to be endured, or uh, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, to make his position as a winner more secure. Now I smile, feel assured. My choices were not in vain. Locations and situations constantly change, but my unwavering heart remains for all the trials and all the pain. The mission has always been for my son to become a man and live free in his American dream. Yes. His mom had more bars than him, yes. bro. His mom no. had more bombs than Yo, st- No, listen. The dream was for him to come to America and to live out that American dream. Yes. Did he go rob a bunch of niggas while trying to get there? Yes. Did he shoot at a True. bunch of niggas? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. That's his story. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, yo, yo. Like, I'm pretty sure if his story was, yo, I made, I was a valedictorian, honor roll student. Like, maybe you tell that. Oh, but he don't got no act, stories like so, that. He act, only got stories so of ignorant. spinning the block. Act, you being so ignorant, bro. Your American dream is a normal life for a black nigga in South America, bro. That's not an American dream, bro. You just. Tell me about the life that Lil Baby lives, Rich Homie Quan lives, Young Thug lives, fucking Kodak Black lives. This ain't an American dream. This is just a normal life from a normal nigga from South America, bro. Atlanta, Savannah, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Yo, boom, my, boom. Uh, Mississippi, you're too Louisiana. caught up. You're too caught up on this idea that the term American dream as, term, on, act, wait, wait, term. as it relates to, to immigrants means it's only about getting your citizenship or getting that's or not, no act, you're lying no act, you're no no lie on me like that because that's not what the, the american dream is a real deal thing that people really this is a real niggas life asian niggas mexican niggas um um even black niggas bro. yeah but what did he not life. talk they about have the american dream bro so it just to call the album the american dream you have to talk about some shit, bro. You see how you call you can't call the album graduation and all you talk about is just fucking bitches, bro. You talk about how you graduated in your fucking life, nigga. That's what the that's why the album is so good because the message means the album title. If you call this album Boom. 21 Savage, you, it's a you've already album. admitted that there are lyrics on here that is going towards Yes, true. You're just saying it's not enough. It's not, it's too so. You only naming me two songs out of fifth out of fourteen. You name me two songs. Listen, man. All I know is, a rich nigga got my strap from Tommy Hilfiger. Red, white, and what? blue American. I kill niggas. Oh, no, like what? God no, like, bro. Bro, all right, bro. All right, all right. Yo, I'm a hater. spray is block and then pull off. That's a real was it dipple. Bottega pick my cotton, but I'm a feel nigga. Oh. Right. Nah, that's a bar. That's a bar. He's a field nigga. He's a field nigga. He's in the field. Like, bro, come on, man. I'm a hater, bro. I'm just a hater. I just hate 21 Savage. I just hate him. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even being Chris. Chris, Chris he said, fuck with Chris. baby, but my baby like to drill niggas. Damn. Come on, man. He said, yo, act. A nigga said, boom, expected too much from 21 Savage album naming. But you did act. You did yo. the same shit for Drake. Act, you did the same shit. And for I Drake realized I was wrong. I was realized I was wrong. Yeah, that, shit took, act, yo. that shit took three months. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. yo chat, pull out this. Let me tell you this. I, I, I got to start accepting Drake for who he is. I can't mold him into, like, I used to have Drake in this, like, guy who's, like, living this journey of a life that I'm trying to parallel to mine. No, Drake is forever stuck at 26. Drake keep talking about the new bitch he's fucking like he's he never gets old of it. <laughs> like so again, I have to realize Dr- you can't you can't be like no Drake, start rapping about your 30s now. He don't want to rap about that. He want to rap about the new girl that's working at the cashier that he's seen that he's trying to co- like that's all he want to rap about. Let him do him. That's his life. I'm a fan. I, when do the fans start telling the niggas what they want to hear? Nigga, get in the booth your goddamn self. I, I mean, so I had to. So I, 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 you I, know I, when I realized it about the Drake thing, 
when I'm going back and I'm listening to these songs and I'm listening to them in the vacuum of do they sound good or not? And I'm like, damn, these joints are catchy. They do sound good. And then I realized I'm like, damn, I hated some of this shit because I wanted him to rap about other stuff that I wanted to hear. And that's my entitlement. But he's the rapper. I think your point is completely vague because I'm not rapping about what I want to hear from 21 Savage. If you're going to rap about a 21, like for all the dogs, I understood it. You probably didn't, but I understood it. If it wasn't for the niggas, I re-listened to it for the second time and I realized he's talking about the dog ass bitches that niggas got to deal with. If you listen to the album, that's literally what he's talking about on every song. So he's not talking about, oh, I'm 26 or I'm 34. I'm not, I'm, I'm not expecting that from an album called All The Dogs. I want to hear who the dog is. No, if I heard you, it on the you, you, no, if you're I heard not hearing what I'm time, saying. I, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I Put it like this. Saying, no, play this. I'm talking about when you go into an album. So I, even if, who cares if it's for all the dog ass bitches? Here's what I'm saying. If a 37 year old man is complaining about how bitches ain't shit, I think that maybe your development ain't going right. You get what I mean? It's like, brother, you've, that's 27 year old you, right? When you realize these hoes ain't shit. 37 year old you is knowing that, acknowledging it, and doing other things if we're just thinking about growth and progression. Here's the thing. Those things probably don't sound too good rapping about. Just like the moment Jay-Z started beating Grandpa Hove, the moment he talk, he started talking about fatherhood, I ain't want to hear that shit. But it's niggas that want to hear it. It's called 444. So that album no, had whoa, a message whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, I, I, I was not even necessarily talking about that album. That album That's was... That shit. 444 is some that shit, bro. No, well, four for four was more of him. Um, some old head shit, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. No, nah, not necessarily. Yes, it is, bro. I guess he had a song. A, I can't remember what it was, baby. but he was rapping about. He was the rapping about like he was rapping about baby blue. Like blue was was a child at that point. I was like, oh my god, I don't hear this shit. I cut it off. That's some dad. That's some dad shit. Yeah, I don't, listen, 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 yo. The, the 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 day Drake is like, yo, oh my god. I can't wait to like even when he rap about Adonis, he doing some fly shit. Yeah, I go to the PTA, oh I go to the PTA like, teacher meeting. He, yo, Drake always got it. Like Drake forever lives in the mind of people as his playboy, right? He doesn't live as this grown man that's now a uncle. Doesn't live as the guy who is okay. You should be married. He's this forever playboy. So even when he talks about his son, he talks about his son like, yo, Wait, this so is just what, this is just another thing to help me get bitches. He's like, yo, so I go to the PTA meeting and the bitches want to fuck me still. Like that's kind of so how Ak, he talks about it. So Ak, so Ak is a so 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 Drake is a playboy, but he's rapping about thirty eight years old. You're so down with the gangy. You're one of my members. That's like some old head shit that an old head nigga would say. You're so down you're, with the gangy. You're, you're one of you're my members. making my point. What I'm saying is that because. I have listened to every Drake song millions of times that okay. when I start putting my expectations on him because a lot of his music has paralleled my life. So I'm expecting, right? Oh, okay, your music at this point in your life, given you've had all the success, it's, it's kind of corny now to, to be like, oh, yeah, I just got this new car. You got all the success. Every girl wants you. There's probably no new experiences of you getting rejected at center. You're going to be rapping about maybe a different phase in your life. Maybe wanting to start a family. Maybe some other shit. Except, no, you're so down with the gang. Because I'm telling you, Drake mentally is 27 for life. When Drake is 45, you're still going to hear him rap about picking up the new chick. You know why? That is the aura, the essence, and one of the reasons you listen to Drake. You Like, again, he had to hit that crossroads of, are you going to be making colonoscopy type music nigga or you gonna keep it on yo i'm in yo yo i'm at dre is picking up some whole fucking in the back like yeah he has made his choice and i had to be cool with it because number one he's still gonna make great songs and i'm not the artist yo act have you met drake's alter ego yet who's that anita max ween what anita max ween what? Yo, Anita Maxween. Yo, act. Bro. Who is that talking about? I, I understand. Yeah, you see that video? I'm, I'm not gonna. Act, I'm not gonna run it to the ground because niggas already. Did, did. When I I did the same shit with Drake and they called me crazy and a dick rider. Two months later, they're gonna say Boomer's telling the truth. It's, it always happens. But I'm just gonna tell you this. You know what I mean? 
if you call an album fucking Jesus Christ, I expect to hear God on that motherfucker. I, hey. If you call this shit the King James version, I expect to hear the. I expect to hear Matthew, Jan, John, hey. James. I hey, by the way, Black Label. Listen. Yo, that's a fire line from Drake. Drake says. Feels like I'm by because you're one of the guys. Yo, I can't ask, bro. Like, Yo I, Drake like, got a line. He say he feels like he's by because bro, she's like, she's like, like one of the guys. Like, bro, bro, then he says right, all bro. jokes aside, like he told you joking. Now I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yo, I, I've gotten to realize Drake is 27 year old me. Drake is 38. It don't matter. He's 38. It don't matter. He's 38. It don't matter. He's 38. It don't matter. It does matter. It don't matter. He's going to be 40 years old. Stop it. Well, well, listen. No, no, no. He's 40. He's 40. Yeah, Drake is timeless. He's timeless. No, yeah, no, no. This is a, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. He could be the, hey, you know, I realize about, you see, Kanye, Kanye don't give a fuck. Like, I could tell, like, he embraces age and all that type of shit. Like, Kanye at a certain point, like Kanye was beefing with abortion. Like he was like, yo, abortion, keep taking away our kids. I want my family, my family, my family. Like, like you could tell, like, Kanye is like he's he he does whatever but with his music. That's more of a point than what Drake is talking about. Like, that's some actual political shit versus I feel like I'm bi because you're one of the guys. Like, he's actually talking yo, about Yo, my boy Kanye felt like he was bisexual for a minute. What's the problem? But, but Kanye's actually talking about some shit that hundreds of millions of Americans <laughs> actually agree with. Drake's talking about I'm bi because you're one of the guys. That's just just a pun, bro. Like it's a pun from a forty year old. Like what Kanye's talking about. Yo, some all right, real all right, hold on. All right, so, so let me bring the parallel and, and cross reference it with Twenty One Savage, right? So I'm not saying Drake is if proverbially uh, pr proverbially twenty seven for life, and I've accepted that his new music is gonna sound like a twenty seven year old man, right? No matter how old he gets. A part of that, maybe not is only where he is mentally, but a part of that is him realizing that in music, if you want to be at the top, you need to rap about things that a 27 year old would care about. Kanye don't do that. Well, it's the reason why Kanye been dropping, saying he about to drop an album and People don't give. They don't even know what's going on with it. Okay, but, but it's the reason why Kanye last album sold 350k first weeks. So we're gonna talk about that too. Uh, it's the reason why people Third, don't know what there. Kanye wants to do musically right now. Okay, here's the okay, thing. Okay, you know, he sold 350k first week during Drake era. Yeah. So we're not gonna, okay. We're gonna ignore that. And he also dropped some other projects too that didn't sell too well. Let's not talk about sales. No, no, no. He didn't drop anything. You know, the the point of what I'm saying is that to to bring it to 21 Savage is that. I know you would like to hear about some of the boring details of, hey, this is how I got my green card. Like, hey, I'm on the American dream. Ice locked me up. I had to get a lawyer. Shout out to Jay-Z. Shout out to this. I then filled out mad paperwork. Yes. Fuck Joe Biden. He was trying to put me in a, in, 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 in one of those like little cages uh, for immigrants. Fuck him. I know you wanted to hear that in, in your American dream album. But that's just not that interesting. You know what's interesting, nigga? Really Rich is. nigga got my strap from Tommy Hilfiger. Red, white, and blue. American, I kill niggas. That's more oh, exciting. Man. Man. That's oh, what, man. yo. I, I, when I you're in a whip. Oh, you. my I, God. I'm going to cook you. I'm going to cook you right here. What was the most streamed song of I Am Greater Than I Was? Say again? What was again? the most streamed song? What was the most streamed song of I Am Greater Than I Was? Was it about him fucking niggas, bitches? Or was it about him talking about his fucking life? Which one? It was a lot. But Real life. It, it was, was a lot. lot. Which, by the way, had J. Cole on it. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. First of all, those songs are few and far in between. Just like, just like a song like Bigger Picture. Because that is aimed for a certain look. Right? That's aimed for that look. That's aimed for that almost grammy crossover look. No, no, no. He was really talking about some shit, bro. I just won a Grammy from it, bro. He wasn't he wasn't doing some all oh, my life. He said, How many niggas you got? How many lawyers you got? He still was talking about niggas he shot, but he was also talking about his life throughout that whole song, bro. It wasn't just him saying I'm spinning on niggas blocks and fucking your bitch. He was saying niggas was innocent, couldn't get lawyers. Flint still yo, he was talking about a whole yo, bunch yo. of shit. He I, was talking about a whole bunch I of shit. I get bro. you, so, I get you that. with yes, there are songs that People will. It, it's, that was meant to cross over, though. Real talk. Even though you're still talking. All, all my life was meant to cross over. A lot just happened to cross over. No, it was that, that was meant to cross song. over too, bro. Facts. Oh no. 
A lot was a good ass song. That's why I crossed over. Bro, I'm not saying it wasn't good. Hold on, whether it's good or not, that wasn't a conversation. It was good, but it was meant to cross over. Here's what I'm trying to say. He has to make, and this is when you're making an album. You know what your base is. His base is this. I I know you want him to get on some real eloquent, very different shit, but. What Savage has been doing for his base, right? We're not talking about the songs that are going to cross over like a lot and, and whatever else. Is basically saying, I kill the most niggas. And I killed them and I could describe it in the cleverest way. But that's not even what... But that's not even one of his, bro, his biggest song of all time. No, we're not talking about biggest. No, See, you're talking about like crossover. Every anytime we say biggest, you're gonna say crossover. But that's not. That's, but he didn't cross, bro. That song was that good that it crossed over. You keep making it seem like because he made a lot, it crossed over. No, the boom. song was that good that it crossed over. Boom, Act boom, like, boom. You're, you're like oh. fighting a simple point. Yes, he's going to talk about violence because that is the thing that is actually eaten up by his base. They like when he true. talks about that. That's not true because oh. a lot is his biggest song. Bruh, a lot yo, is his boom, song yo, boom, boom, violence. boom. I think you're arguing to argue. Do you really want to sit here and tell people that if 21 Savage had put out an album, which by the way, do you even think lyrically he had the the, the, the dexterity to just rap all about non violent shit rap. and bro, rap about visas? Rap about bro, visas and ICE yes. and immigration. Yeah, is a poet, bro. He you think rap. that would be? Oh, come on, bro. Like, no, listen. Can rap, bro. You, you, no, you, we're not saying he can't rap. I'm just saying, is. yo, he's going to give you a little bit of that, but he's going to give you a lot of niggotry. That's, that's just how it is. Who wants that, bro? If we want niggas, we got a little baby, we got a little dirt. Bro, you're 21 Savage, a Grammy Award winning artist. We know you have talent. You're diminishing his talent by saying all he can do for us is niggotry and talking about killing niggas. Bro, no, bro, 21 Savage got respect, bro. 21 Savage, yo, can't yo, yo, niggas, yo, yo. This is what I'm saying. You're doing what I did to Drake. Pause. My dude, you heard one fucking song a lot, and you now want this nigga to rap like a scholar. No. He still drops songs. He can do it. That shows he can do it, though. Bro, he, he still drops songs like "Can't Leave Home Without It." What do you think? He can't leave home without his dictionary, nigga. He can't leave without the is stick. That, is that his top song? Is that one of his top songs? But that's that one of the songs that his core rocks with the most. You is keep saying, "Bro, top everybody's song? top song is some shit." Their core, like Lil Wayne's top song, is "Lollipop." You think that's what got him to be Lil Wayne, my nigga? No. I mean. Gotta, yeah. He rap about the same shit every fucking song. Sucking, um, bitches sucking his dick and him eating pussy and him killing niggas with metaphors. Yo. That's what Lil Wayne's whole, st uh, that's what Lil Wayne's whole style is. Metaphors, bro. So man, like, oh argue. man. Boom, boom, just arguing, argue. Hold on, let me grab some water real quick. Uh, uh. Hey, boys. Hardcore. 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 Hardc